All right. Well, there's another cucaracha, and I, I don't even really want to cover this one. I got to be honest with you. I really don't want to cover this one. I'm going to cover it just because that's what I do, like Mark Henry. But another cucaracha. This one, this isn't even going to take that long. It's pre-sale. It's about to start here in about a day, so tomorrow. And it's on the Binance Smart Chain. You may or may not have seen an ad about it because they're, they did a basic ad campaign. I did not see a bunch of shillers. So I guess that's in their favor. But I did see a basic ad campaign. But it's another one that's got the unrealistic APY. That's why I'm covering it, only because people are likely searching out for these cucarachas and they're finding other ones that do the same thing or claim to do the same thing and we had there actually was one that was supposed to release the other day and it actually did release but then the guy rugged it and he must have taken only two thousand dollars because he must have been like some kid that sketched out that's my guess i don't know but they're coming up hot and heavy and i'm not gonna get all of them that one rugged so fast i didn't even i had the recording ready to go it's actually in youtube as a draft and i didn't even get a chance to hit publish before the guy had already took it so I knew that's what was happening, but I wanted, I'll do this one just because you're probably going to see an ad at least some point. You're going to be curious. Somebody's going to be searching about it. This one's called Gem Stake, gemstaketoken.com. And here's a joke about their website. Every, I couldn't find this on any search engine, nowhere. There was nothing about it. And what these cucarachas do is when they put the ad up on these places, they'll link you to the telescam. So already you're on my hit list with an S because you don't bother sending people to your website, which is the definitive source outside the crypto bubble. However, I decided I would at least take a look at it, give it a fair chance because I didn't want to be coming across like the bitter old man get off my lawn, even though that's roughly around my age relevant. First of all, their website is slapped slapped together. We're talking no effort whatsoever. We're talking generic template to the point they don't even, they didn't even update the copyright date. So that tells me they copied from somebody else. I can't tell which of the projects they directly copied from, but I can tell it's a copy because they weren't smart enough to even update the copyright on the year at the bottom. 395,100% fixed APY is what they claim. And they're talking about staking and they're talking about rewards in PooCoin. <laughs> so they allegedly they're going to be delivering poo coin which is a different coin it's a coin it's actually a coin but nobody does the poo coin why would you do that why would you go after a coin that doesn't mean anything automatically i know that they're full of crap okay i'll try to give you a fair chance i try to go to the white paper guess what there's no white paper there's a link for white paper there's no white paper nothing happens so they don't have a white paper so i try to take a look at the roadmap their roadmap is nothing more than telling them well, the more money we make, the more that we can do, 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 do. It's not a roadmap. A roadmap says what you will do regardless of how much money you make along the way. Not telling people the more money we make, the more we can do. And then ultimately they said, we're going to roll out a D app immediately, mega marketing, coin market cap, coin gecko, and an AZ bit nobody cares about. But we have to make a thousand BNB at the max of this tier. A thousand BNB to just let me put in perspective here. There are absolute garbage tokens on CoinGecko. CoinGecko doesn't cost you that much. Coin Market Cap doesn't cost you that much. So for you guys to say you need a thousand BNB just to get the basics to make the freaking wallets register your token, you automatically are on my hit list with an S because it's clear what you're trying to do. It's clear what you're trying to do. Having no white paper, it's clear what you're trying to do. Having no real roadmap, I mean a real roadmap, tells me what you're trying to do. Here's the cherry on the top. In what they call the roadmap that's not a roadmap, they said celebrity ambassadorship. You know what that is? That's Schiller's. But not just Schiller's. They want to go after celebrities. So I can tell you with let's say 99% certainty, at least one of the people in this project was involved with Ethereum Max. Why? Because that's exactly the method that they went through that got them in freaking trouble and got those celebs sued for their troubles. I'm telling you, in my opinion, nobody should buy into this project because it's either going to be a straight up rug pull, 100%, like fresh out the gate, or they're going to take your money go after Schiller's and end up like Ethereum Max or 
somebody's going to dump it to the point it never recovers. There's no way this is going to go anywhere. There's no, I 99% sure confident. There's no way it's going to go anywhere. There's no way this is going to succeed at all. And there were people actually in the telescam talking about why are you locking this? Why'd you do that? And then they're giving fluffy answers like the car salesman on Seifu. That tells me they're not going anywhere. For all I know, the car salesman bought in on this. I don't know. Then they claim that they're, quote, fully doxxed and video KYC with pink sale. And if you heard me, I said that anybody getting into pink sale, it's automatically at risk because pink sale has that exploit. So this actually might be another for her financial. This might even be the same people. I don't know, but it might be because of what I see and the timing and the approach and the ghetto-ness of the website. This could be another forever financial, could be the same people where they spun it up based on stealing other people's money. And now they're going on pink sale again, knowing that they have this exploit to where they're going to take more money when this thing goes, if they're going to do the pre-sale. And I think they said they were going to do a pre-sale. And then they try to break down the staking rewards and all that other stuff, but it's all crap. I can tell it's all crap. They're talking about all sorts of things that currently only Libero is doing as far as the multi-chain and all that. There's no way they're going to do that. If you can't even get your copyright stuff correct, there's no way you're going to pull off everything you're talking about. The stuff that they're saying in terms of the people is crap. It's a bunch of avatars. There's no real data about the people at all. They have a D app button, but it doesn't do anything, which is the same thing that Hedgehog Finance did, which is the same thing Forever Financial did. Same thing as all these other ones. They put these fancy, almost cussed things on their site, and then ultimately they yank it. I don't think it's going to be around. I think it's high risk. You are absolutely, absolutely, oh, and side note, of all the broken links on their site, it's rather interesting that their pink sale link magically works and it works perfectly and goes right to the thing. And of course, pink sale says, yep, yeah, we know who they are. We da, 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 da. And there were some code, basic code reviews that were done. The code reviews, all they do, and I'll do a separate episode about this at some point. All they do is tell you that the owner can't do certain things and that there's no minting. But we saw the same thing with Forever Financial and they still got the money out using essentially an exit scam because they had already, they basically sold off the value. In that situation, there was locked liquidity in the whole nine, so there was no way that this audit could have found that stuff. I suspect the same thing's going on here because they have half the supplies, what they call locked, but it's not liquidity. It's just locked away from the investors. Chances are that's a wallet or set of wallets that is owned by somebody in the group. They claim that it's locked all the way to December, but if it's owned and the it's not renounced and it doesn't look like it's renounced, they can just unlock that token, you know, set of wallets and just dump it. Because it's 50% of the total, I'm my guess is this is the same thing as what happened with Forever Financial. That they're gonna take and they're gonna do the, you know, this pre-sale and trick a bunch of people to buy into it. And then after a bunch of people buy into the thing, then they're gonna sell off these major bags, take the money and, and dash. There's no way to tell right now kind of what the progress of this is. We don't see anything in terms of the progress of this pre-sale as it stands right now. They allegedly have a vesting. The problem with that is that the, if it's the vesting of what's in this pre-sale, that doesn't mean anything because you can't tell what this other wallet, because that wallet's not part of the pre-sale. So it's, it's outside of it. So they're holding, in this case, looks like 50 million of the total supply off to the side or 500 million off to the side or as a 50 50 billion sorry 50 billion off to the side somehow outside of the pre-sale i suspect they're going to dump and run that's a theory i have no evidence no proof no nothing i'm simply saying for anybody searching this is not one i recommend you buy into if you're a gambler you can feel free to ignore me i am not going to criticize you for your own choices i'm just telling you they're pointing you straight to Telescam. They don't advertise their website. Their website isn't even on search engines. That's how quick spun up it is. It's clearly a copy of somebody's and it's not, it's half baked. And the only link that really works is the one to the, the pink sale and to the Telescam. Those usually are going to be very high risk ones for pump and dump situations where they're going to let it go live and then let the graph grow and then they're going to dump it out and probably move on to another project. And again, I wouldn't surprise me if it's the same people as the Forever Financial because I'm seeing the same or very similar patterns. 
gemstaketoken.com if you want to take a look at it. By all means, I am not here to stop you.